Baby, welcome to the party. I'm on a Molly Delay and a Zini. That's why I'm moving with Todd. I left out one so that I can show y'all how I did these. So the yarn that I use is from Red Heart. I'll put a picture of the yarn because right now my yarn looks a mess because I, I you know. The only thing you're gonna need for this hairstyle is yarn. You're gonna need some scissors and some type of hair moisturizer. Let me show you. This is just like a curl butter cream, but you can use like, I didn't use this. I use leave-in conditioner, so you can use whatever you want to. If you're gonna do this hairstyle, make sure your hair is moisturized, especially if you wanna keep it in for a long time, all right? All right, you, you know how I go. Girl, you can't tell me nothing, okay? I am straight from Jamaica. The first thing I did was obviously I braided my hair down. I braided it and then I twisted it, but you can like, you can just do a twist if you can't braid. I'm just gonna take the yarn and I'm gonna pull it like this. Me. So I didn't do any special measurements or anything like that. I just did like, let's see, like one, like two arm widths apart. I don't know. And I just cut basically one strand and then I folded it in half. Okay. And then I'm gonna take the yarn. I like to hold a short piece with my thumb like this, and then just wrap it around. I wrap the yarn around my roots about five times before I start going down like this just to make sure it's nice and secure. You don't need to wrap the yarn around the root of your hair too tight because if you do, then you just gonna have a headache and it's not really necessary. Don't look at my nails, okay? I gotta get them done, so just, 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 just don't look, okay? But right now I'm just wrapping my hair. You also don't wanna do this part too tight either because your dread might be stiff. So, you see how they move? Yeah, if you do the part that I'm doing right now too tight, then your dread is not going to be able to move when you're done with it. So make sure you want to wrap. How can I explain it? I don't even know how to explain it, y'all, because I'm bad at explaining stuff, to be honest. But you want to wrap it, but you don't want it to be like, you just don't want it to be too tight. Like, that's, that's the best I can describe it. I'm not going to be able to wrap my hair down and have it as long as these, right? Okay, so I'm going to stop wrapping right there and just drop it so that I have something to continue to wrap. You, you get what I'm saying, right? Okay, cool. I'm going to do the same thing and just grab a really long piece and just cut it. Cut it. Cut it. I am starving. Oh, I forgot. Okay, fuck so. I forgot to tell y'all, the color that I'm using is called Cherry Red, even though this doesn't look Cherry Red to me. To me, Cherry Red is like a deeper red. I don't know how to, I don't know. I don't even know if the right color is coming off on camera, but it's not Cherry Red, I'll tell you that. So I'm just continuing to wrap. I should have left out like two dreads so I can show y'all two different examples, but I think it's like simple, so I only left out one because I feel like this is really easy to do. I'm not going to tell y'all how long it took me to do these, okay? Like, this is my favorite way to achieve faux locks or yarn locks, genie locks, whatever people want to call them. This is my favorite way to do them because, first of all, Marley hair costs almost $7 a pack, and I know I'm going to need more than five packs to do my hair, so that's dead, okay? So I'm going to drop this one too, just so it can be a little thicker. And then I'm gonna do the same thing, grab another piece of yarn. I got some bomb ass hair decorations for these dreads. And yeah, I like this. It. It's gonna be popping. It's gonna be popping. I can't wait to put them on, baby. So, oh my gosh, I forgot. Okay. Because I keep doing it and I forgot to show y'all. Okay, so I'm adding it in the same way that I added it into the root. So you just wanna bend it. And then I'm gonna take it and hold it with my thumb and just continue to wrap. And make sure when you're wrapping that it's flat. Make sure it's real, real flat so that it can cover your hair because my hair is jet, jet, jet black, so it needs to be covered. And if I'm not careful, um, you might be able to see my hair. So that's why you gotta make sure that, make sure you wrap it flat. That's why I like to take my time because really I can just go real fast, but it's like, I need to take my time. So I make sure my hair is covered. So, this is all I'm doing, okay? All the way down to the end. And like I said, these dreads are 
are long, baby. So I'm going to be here for about two hours just doing this one. I'm just playing. So if you do plan on doing these and you're wondering what yarn to use or where to get it from, I like to use Red Heart yarn. It's the only yarn that I ever use for my locks, and I've done locks over a hundred times, okay? So I use Red Heart yarn because it's acrylic. It doesn't really matter what yarn you use. You need to just make sure that it's 100% acrylic because... Because if it's not 100% acrylic yarn, then it will lock in your hair. And you don't want that, okay? You don't you don't want to have to cut your hair out just to take down some... No. No, 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 no. And this yarn never stuck to my hair, ever. And like I said, I've done these over 100 times. So, this yarn doesn't tangle in my hair or anything like that. So, you ain't got to worry about that. But I never tried any other yarn, so don't ask me about no other yarn. Because I only know about Red Heart, okay? Red Heart yarn needs to sponsor me. Period. Um, another good thing about Yarn Locks too is you got a billion colors that you can use. If you're going to use Marley hair or crochet hair, then obviously you can't use every single color because they don't make, you know, that hair in every single color. The yarn is also not heavy. Like, it's not heavy at all. I can put all this, all this, um, I can put all my dress to the top of my head in a bun and it won't. It won't hurt and it won't be heavy. So I didn't show y'all how I seal my ends, but I'm gonna just show y'all right now. All I do is put knots at the end of the dread. Like I put about three or four or five knots <laughs> at the end of the dread and it doesn't come loose. Some people burn their dreads. Some people um, use like super glue, but I just tie a knot at the end and they don't come loose. So yeah. I hope y'all enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, subscribe to my channel for more videos. Don't forget to follow all of my social media. It will be down in the description box below. And I will see y'all in my next video. Bye, y'all.